Welcome everyone to the first session about how to use Airdas Imagine. In this, I will present you some kind of basic knowledge about Airdas and how to yeah, import data and first steps of how to create some new data. So first of all, we are starting with an interface. There you have the main program, Airdas Imagine, in the upper part of the screen which with some kind of modules like the import module, data preparation, etc. These are all sub-programs. Sub and you will start with a viewer. The viewer, as it, said, as it is said, um, provides you some kind of way to view your data. So how can we do that? So change the screen again. Of course, you have the normal interface, this open layer. You can see the title of the, of the interface in the up, um, yeah, lower left corner of the screen. And then you have some kind of information about the top raster, etc. So we'll start with um, some kind of data. Therefore, I have um, prepared some TIFF files. And as you can see here, you have on uh, the first part, you start with the imagine format. We'll change that to the TIFF file. And we can see now that we have some kind of raw TIFF file, which I've downloaded from landcover.org. So we will start with the first layer. And now it's already imported, but we cannot see anything. So, But if you have a look on this side, you have some kind of um, some kind of possibilities to change the view, but we will just ask them to fit image to window. And as you can see here, we have our Landsat data, the first band, so the reflection in the blue, and we can have a look in a lower part here, and as you can see, it's a beautiful city of Berlin, and you have the Flughafen Tempelhof, or the airport of Tempelhof, here in the middle part. And yeah, that's the first part. So um, what can we do now? First of all, we have to think about what is this information about. So you will start with the image info. And as you can see here, you have some kind of layer info, how many pixels are in uh, the rows and the columns, and also which kind of format is it. So this should be unsigned 8-bit. And of course, you have some kind of georeferenciation -reference, ge bad word for me as a German guy. So you have a project a projection info, it's a UTM zone, so universal transmercata. Then also the same information here. You have an histogram. Normally it isn't provided here, but you can already, uh, always create a histogram by using edit, compute statistics, calculate on all layers. We will ignore the value of zero. Skip factor we can leave as blank as it is here because zero indicating the um, missing part of the scene. So once again, calculating statistics, it should be looking like it is now. Now, and as you can see here, we have not so good contrast in the scene. Values are starting by. 60 to 61 and will end about 105 digital numbers. So it's not the re reflectance in watts per square meter or whatever. It's only a digital number from 0 to 255. And you can also have a look on the pixel data. This seems a little bit, um, yeah, not so good visible, but they have every pixel, like here, the 2,123, 2,725, there you have the pixel value of 70, 71. That's for the moment now. Okay, we have the TIFF info as well, but we'll leave that blank. Now let's start with uh, integrating another scene, or maybe not another scene, but another um, layer of information. Therefore, we will Again, choose select layer, um, a layer to add, and we will now use the fourth band. But not by clicking OK, we first have to change the rest of options. So you will find the clear display button. This means that the uh, last scene will be cleared out and the new scene will be loaded in. We will uncheck this, leave, leave this as grayscale, and there we go. So what do we have now? We have the near infrared. So we can really good divide between water and not water because water is absorbing nearly everything. And you have some kind of vegetation values over here. And you can really, oh, sorry for that. You can really good differentiate between water and non-water regions. Um, but what was happening happening with the last scene? First we can check. So we have the view 
and arrange layers and then you can see here that we still have both scenes in the view but the first scene the band 4 is in the upper part of this by click and drag this one and pressing apply the first band so the blue information of the blue channel is laid in the upper part back again to this and there we go so sometimes you may be interested in um, yeah how does these reflection values or digital numbers in first case uh, are changing between the two bands therefore we will close this again and we will now use utility blend this will blend between these two scenes by changing the um, the the um, blend factor so there you can see you have the um, airport here and you have the Tartanbahn a strange German word and you can see that we have a low reflection in the blue uh, in, the, in, the, in the infrared and the high reflection in the blue channel and you can also see that this region here which is a building is behaving some way other okay this is blend and swipe option then we will have another option to use it as a swipe just to change between these two quite simple and this third one is flicker this will flicker between these two sides with 100 percent okay that's for the moment and we will now go on with the possibility of creating a um, some kind of real picture like as we can see it from space and also a true uh, or true color picture and a false color picture therefore we have to use the, the um, information in the red green and blue channel to create this uh, to create this therefore we would choose interpreter utilities layer stack the layer stack means that you are um, combining three different informations in the moment to create a new image but we will not only use three information layers like green red and blue we will use six information layers the information from the blue green red near infrared middle infrared and the se seventh channel it's also middle infrared we will use this press ok there's a temporary file created and from this temporary file you now only have the first channel but we will use all the channels to create the stacked image or a multi-band image which you can say okay this is fine now we will create an output file this can be img or image format but we will choose the tiff option and create a new one a layer called layer stack berlin and once again the combination one two three four five and seven dot tiff there we go okay yeah do you want to delete it please delete it and create a new one once again okay and mm, everything is fine for that now but uh, you would see that the okay is not marked as active now because you have to add all layers here to the possibility to create a new one okay we will leave this now in a processing step and see what is happening in the next minutes okay.